Hello everybody and welcome back to Dizzy Plays 215 Gaming Channel. Today we are going to go through building the first part of this mansion. As you can see in the background, here is the final image. We're going to start with putting up staircase and using the 4x4 blocks to put a small imprint there. And then we are going to build this floor, as you can see. And then we are going to go back to the 4x4 blocks. And we are going to build this out in the front. And then we are going to put a second layer next to the stairs. Next, we are going to take the walls, and we are going to put two walls up against the floor all the way around the perimeter. And now we have a nice square. Next, we're going to put um, one and a half walls up, and we're going to cut out a doorway. doorway should be five high by eight wide. Then we are going to put in a small banister for the front. As you can see, I'm just going every other block. And then we are going to put the top on and it's just going to be two blocks across the entire way. Next, we're going to put up some columns. We're going to go three high, and then we will shave them off at the top. Next, we are going to install flooring in front of the walls that we just built. And then we are going to fill the gaps of the banisters. Next, we are going to put up a center wall that is going to be each section is one and a half walls high as you can see in the video and then I'm just putting some um, columns in next we're going to build the second level wall as you can see I um, I have some blocks down but we are going to rebuild that later um, to make it better Next, we're going to build the second level wall around the perimeter. We're going to do it right on top of the wood floor, right on the edge, and leave the two other blocks for the base. Next, we're going to put in the second level floor. Start by putting one block down, and then I like to come up top so that I can get a better view. And put it around the perimeter, and then we are going to put some additional blocks across the middle. Next, we are going to do the third floor wall around, and that is again one and a half walls high. And it's going to be right on top of the second floor wall. Next, we're going to do the roof. You want it to have a one block overhang on either side. And again, ignore the um, column in the middle because we are going to rebuild that shortly. I am cutting out the roof for the large center. <laughs> and then we're going to do the back part of the roof. It's going to be one gap off the back and one gap over to the side. And then you can just fill it in across. Running short. 
short on roof tiles, so I am deleting some of them so that I can fill in the rest of the gap before we move on. tiles that are going to be inside of the building. And finishing up the roof. put the third floor floor down. And again, we're just going around the perimeter and then in the middle. Next, we're going to put the third floor walls up that match the roof. And just fill in the gap. side the exact same way. And fill in the wall again. Then we're going to move the floor out to match the side skirts. both levels. Next we are going to pick up where we left off on the center. We're going to make it six blocks wide. You're going to have two blocks. Then you're going to go one block and then two blocks and then back to six blocks again. As you can see what I did right there. And then we're going to follow this same pattern around until we get all the way back to the other side. So now it is perfectly symmetrical. Then we are going to remove the one extra panel from either side and we're going to match the same on the bottom. Two, one, two. Next we are going to use columns and we are going to build this up to the top. You're just going to work your way up with the columns, continuing. Um, some of the angles are a little bit tough to do, so you got to jump up and down, uh, but all the way to the top. And then down to the roof as you approach the sides here. Then go around to the other side, do the same. And 
I do some adjustments to the roof here, as you can see, just to make it match better. And then I am going to put in um, the top portion around the rim. You're just going to add one block to each. It's still going to be a total of six blocks on the outside sides of the unit. Just adjusting the roof on the other side. And doing the fixing underneath of either side as well. Now we are going to throw columns on the insides just to cover up the cracks. And you're going to just put those right to the top again. Then go back up top and fill it in. Just covering all of the cracks. And making a match on both sides. We are now going to fix the roof. And the tiles to make them more perfect. adjustments. We're going to make it like a staircase so that it matches the roof. And again we're going to do this on both sides and then you can just fill in the gaps with the roof tiles. Once that's done we are going to come up top and we are going to build the roof out for the main center column. You're going to start by basically putting two roofs right next to each other, filling in the six blocks, and then you are going to delete with the big block two off of each, and we're going to continue to do this until the roof meets all the way at the top. This is quite complex, um, so take your time. Uh, but it does look very good when it's all said and done. Just going to rinse and repeat. More blocks. Take two off the top. More blocks. Two off the top. Rinse and repeat over and over again. Once you get to this level, I start doing one side at a time with the blocks being cut off the top so that they don't intertwine too much.
this point, I realize that it will be easier to get them positioned if I put a panel to stand on. Then just continue to cut. We're going to do one more layer up. this on you're just going to use the one block deletion tool and you are going to clean it up on top there should be one block around the corners and then you are going to take the triangular top and you will put it right on top and there you have a roundish roof now we have to fill in the corners and you're going to do that basically just by filling in and clicking on each of the spots for the sides and then once you get to the bottom, it's two on the backs, one on the front, and that should give you the nice design. And then you have to fill in the middle section. Sometimes it's easier to do from inside, sometimes it's easier to do from the outside. You just put a panel into the inside here, and you can click in some blocks. of this is done just by sort of clicking around to get it to look exactly the way that you want it to look but it will give you this nice like waffle pattern and then on to the next and rinse and repeat for all four corners you can start at the top start at the bottom both have their same difficulties Again, just going for that waffle pattern. Then you're going to need some four panels to stand on, and you can just adjust them like I do in the video. Slowly working your way down. same waffle pattern. Just clicking around until you get it right.
The last one goes the fastest because you get the hang of it. Next we're going to fill in the roof behind the tower. And we're going to go back inside and we're going to adjust the floor out so that it matches with the tower. But we're going to leave this completely open so that you can look down from the inside or look up from the inside all the way to the top. Next we're going to carve out windows. This is on the second floor. It's going to be six tall and four wide. And you're going to leave a two space gap at the bottom. And then we are going to cut out the roof because we are going to expand this up into dormers. start by making it one and a half tall but it's actually going to be just one and two blocks tall after all is said and done. You're going to cut out the roof so that you can fill in the panels. Once that's done you're going to cut out the roof behind it. window and this is where you see me take the top two off and then we are going to use the V roof and we are going to go back three spaces one space in front and then three back then we are going to go inside and we're going to trim the roof back the rest of the way Just be careful while you're doing it, and remember that Y lets you go back one to undo something. Then we are going to use columns again, and we are going to fill in the, the wall panels for the dormers. And we're going to make it a nice staircase, so you can see. I use columns back, and then I use the single blocks to match the roof. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Is nicely. We have to throw a panel down so that we can get up and fill in the top. You're just going to use the single blocks for this. Next we're going to go over to the other side and we're going to match it. Six blocks of roof and you can take it back pretty far going to put in your wall panel and then you're going to go up two. Cut out your window. Again, six tall, four wide. And then you're going to put it in your roof panels again. One in front, one block in front, and then you're going to do the same thing that we did on the other side and fill in the walls. We're going 
for that step pattern again. Next, we're going to cut windows out in the front of the tower. These are also going to be four wide, six tall. And then I'm going to put a column. I'm going to delete the current one, put it two blocks above the window, put one more. And then we're going to go three. Now we're going to go two blocks above that second column, and we're going to put in another window. I want it to be two blocks, so as you see, I fill it in, and then I cut out one more pane. The middle window on the third floor will be one block higher than the two dormers. Next, we're going to loop our columns around, and then we're going to cut out the bottom windows. We want them to be in the same spot as the above windows. These are also going to be four wide, six tall, and we fill in the floor. And as you can see, it matches. So then we come back in and we do the same thing, four wide, six tall. Next, we're going to expand this decking around the side but we want it to just be too wide and then we delete the third panel and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side next we are going to cut out the side walls This is where we are going to put our staircases to get to each level. I used the columns so that I could make it perfectly centered, and then I am basically just cutting out the blocks. I'm going to put in floor panels, and then I'm going to surround the floor panels matching so that it covers. making sure that we get the corners as well. Next, we are going to put on the roof. The roof is going to go exactly on top of the wall so that it matches on top. And then you're going to go one space outside of the outside wall. As you can see, I need to go one more space. There we have it. Now we're going to fill in the wall. You can ignore cutting out this window if you are building along with me, because this window is actually going to move. And you can also ignore building this staircase. So ignore building that staircase and then we are going to go down to the next floor and we are going to do the same thing but this one we're going to make a tiny bit taller but cut out the same gap we're going to put the floor in again and we have to cut out the um, small portion of the decking above and the wall floor it's going to be one space back from the wall and then we are going to put in our walls but as I said this one is going to be a little bit taller but same thing matches for with the floor level make sure you get your corners and then we are going to do another small brick all the way around.
Next, we're going to add the roof again. It's going to be right up against, and it's going to have a one gap outside of the wall. Then we're going to fill in the wall. Next, we are going to cut in a door opening to the next floor. It's going to be four by five, five tall, four wide. And we're going to position our stairs. And then we will put the first floor down just under the steps. And we're going to back it all the way to the wall. And then we're going to bring down two stair columns on either side. Again, one step down. And we're going to bring this out. Same thing on the other side. Now we're going to fill in the wall. Next, fill in the wall there, make the stairs even, and we're going to cut out a window, again, four wide, six tall. Next, we're going to come over and we're going to cut out the four by five wide doorway for the third floor. do the same thing that we just did with the stairs. But for this we have to fill in the window that I told you guys to ignore. Doing some reconfirming with the other stairs so that they match perfectly. Basically build out the landing, the same as we did on the other side. And then bring our stairs down. to fill in the right step and then we are going to cut out the same window again four wide six tall and as you can see that is the completed part of this video we're going to obviously do a whole lot more detailing as we move forward but i'm giving you a quick run around everything and i want to thank you all for watching as always i look forward to making part two and finishing out everything. Have a great day.